In today's clip, I'm just going to geek out over the fact that Steven Yeun got the Best Actor Oscar nomination. I'm just so happy for him. Uh, that's really about it, okay? I hope clip is just going to be me being a fanboy. So watch or whatever. Mm. Hey, hey Zenfuck here. Uh, now, for those of you who know me, you know I'm not usually about celebrity culture at all, okay? I could care less which actor married which actress, or who went to what party and what dress. Oh, who cares? If you're an actor or an actress, I only care about your, uh, you know, acting part? Uh, that's most of the time, though. Because occasionally someone breaks that mold, and I know his name is Steven Yun, and but to me, he's always just been Glenn from The Walking Dead, the TV show. Uh, and uh, that show's never been the same, really, since uh, they killed Glenn off. Whoops. Oh, crap. Spoiler alert. Well, uh, they did kill Glenn off like twice, so hopefully by now we've all heard about that already. Okay. So why should anybody care about Steven Young right now? Here's a few reasons, right? Obviously, number one, he was on The Walking Dead for like a bunch of years. Half a decade, I feel like. As Glenn... A character that I can empathize with. Finally, an Asian American hero on screen who didn't really have to kind of address the fact that he's Asian. Like, they just, he was there, he was useful, he was cool, and no one was like, oh, ching chong, Chinese food. No one said anything of that ridiculousness. Okay. He's simply a resourceful, moral, and heroic character, and one of the first and only Asian dudes on TV to have a romantic relation with a lady. You know, that thing that most characters do have in real life, uh, but somehow is denied to Asian American dude characters in almost all TV and movies shown in the US? I guess because of racism? I mean, I don't really know why Hollywood is so scared. Uh, I can guess. It's probably because Asian Americans uh, make the most money compared to any other group so that in time will dominate what's considered attractive anyway because uh, sadly that's how the real world works okay uh, if you want to talk about visual attractiveness um, I mean I I'm sorry you're just in the minority okay the world works based on money okay in the meantime I guess Hollywood has to play catch-up because they're run a by a bunch of bitches who are just jealous okay so now you know how rare it is that I can actually relate to an Asian American dude on a TV show. Uh, all because he wasn't portrayed as somehow suspiciously celibate, okay? Thank you AMC for breaking that barrier. Reason number two, obviously. Glenn's now been nominated for the Best Actor Oscar uh, for the film Minari, which I haven't seen, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to say this, right? Probably because it's a drama about immigrants and honestly, I already know that story. That's my story, okay? That's the story of millions of productive immigrants that carry this country every single year, month, and day. So I don't really need to see it, okay? But if you're not an immigrant, you really should. I did read about the film. It sounds really heart-wrenching, really dramatic. And while I'm not Korean-American, right, this story should parallel pretty much any first-generation story, right? I'm sure Glenn's wonderful in it. And his character reads like it's the kind of flawed person that most of us actually are. So yeah, go and watch it and support real films, not just superhero dribble and dumpster fires, right? Now, do I think he's gonna win? Probably not, right? He's already a first, being the first Asian American actor to be nominated. And I feel like the first to be nominated almost certainly means that he won't be the first to win, right? But hey, it's the highest individual prize for someone in his profession to attain. And I think this is at least, uh, you know, a step in the right direction. Uh, number three, while I'm no real film critics, right, so all I can tell uh, is really terrible acting, uh, which, of course, I don't think Steven is. I think he's great. By the way, I apologize for his name, uh, for using his name and Glenn's name interchangeably through this clip. Uh, sorry, that's just the first role I've seen him in, and he already also seems like a nice, polite dude, uh, just like Glenn, so makes me appreciate him, right? Also, you should check out his appearances on Conan, right? You can Google that on YouTube or whatever. Steven Yeun, Conan. He just seems really nice and not full of himself, thinking somehow being an actor makes him something grander than he is. You'll see what I mean. 
So one of the uh, one of the other like kind of outside of acting things that I appreciate about him is that while he's certainly American and plays this great American character on The Walking Dead, right? He also, uh, you know, makes the introduction of his culture to Conan seems very natural, right? I really needed to make this point because of how rare it is to see a hyphenated American, such as just an Asian American or Korean American, however he wants to call himself, who's both comfortable in his or her own ethnic origins and speak English without some kind of ridiculous, exaggerated accent, right? Thank you, Stephen, for you know having your particular life experiences, right? Anyway, at the end of the day, do I have a little bit of a bro appreciation for for Glenn? Absolutely. Okay, I can think of one other historical parallel, and only one other historical parallel, where I unabashedly rooted for some dude in the public spotlight, and that was Jeremy Lin during the uh, period of insanity. You guys remember that? It was like five years ago or something like that. Everyone who was remotely Asian claimed that dude as a trailblazer and one of one of our own, right? Because we were so surprised that someone who looks like us was finally being appreciated, okay? I'm not gonna say, finally, a good at sports or good at acting. We've been good at both of those stupid things, okay? Those are, those are careers that we could dominate if we wanted to. But, finally, actually being appreciated. And for Linsanity, it only lasted like a month, okay? So here's the difference, right? With Glenn, it's the same but different. The big difference is I really hope that Steven Young can just keep showing up in the movies for decades on end. Because unlike a pro basketball player, his career has real longevity and can endure, right? So I hope this is, you know, the beginning for you, Steven. Again, sorry for calling you Glenn randomly. I don't know why I switched from talking to, the, to an audience and or just to, you know, my bro crush dude. Come on. Like, if I ever meet you, I probably would accidentally blurt out and call you Blen anyway, so this is me being true to myself. I'm just happy that you exist, dude. Go for it. Good luck, uh, also, on the Oscars. Cheers.